I'm in the process of building this chicken coop. And before I get too much further along, I kind of wanted to document the process and show you where I'm at and what I have in mind. So it's just made out of plywood, two by fours and four by fours. These four by four beams go from the bottom all the way to the top on both sides. Um, and then plywood for the base, plywood for the sides. I'm gonna do plywood roof. And then I'm gonna do this plastic corrugated roofing panel on top. I also have two by fours reinforcing the bottom all the way over to the nesting boxes over here. I had to uh, notch out that four by four because I wanted to give the chickens a little bit more space on either side here. I also got this door from Run Chicken. Uh, it's battery powered and should open and close with the daylight here with a sensor, which is pretty cool. All right, to cover up this hole, I'm gonna build a little ramp. I'm gonna try and integrate it with a greenhouse that I'm building back there. I've got some brick laid out. I've got a bunch of leftover brick from another project. So I'm gonna do brick under the, the feet just to kind of give it a little bit more chance of avoiding rot. And yeah, I just cut out this access door this is going to be here on hinges with some trim and painted up to hopefully look nice. And this will just open up. And then here I kind of jerry-rigged some stuff to reinforce those nesting boxes. Here's a quick update on the coop. Just about to start painting. Got the door separated, about to go in, cut uh, some of these ventilation holes, which I'm gonna cover up with that mesh, uh, some on the back here, and then the door for where this automatic door is gonna go. I also got these roosts put in uh, so that they'll have a little something to pop up on top of and sleep on. And yeah, about to get the door the boxes and all the rest uh, painted and then get the roof on and then get all the hardware attached. Just wrapping up the last edits and changes here with the coop. Uh, everything's looking good. Doors are all on. This electric door is on and working well. Roof is on. Uh, I found this piece of plastic here that was for something else. I think it was for like a gutter downspout or something that I just cut, tacked together with all these little tacks, and then I put a line of silicone across the top because there was quite a gap here that I wanted to fill for when it rains. Another little latch here for uh, ventilation during the summer. This will probably just stay open all the time. In the winter, I can just fasten that down, close that up nice and easy. Um, yeah, another barrel lock here in the front. And this just opens right up so I can have access to cleaning and doing what I need to do. I got this uh, mesh wire screen on both of these to keep that nice and secure from predators. Last thing I might do is find some sort of piece of wood or something to cover this up in the winter to keep them warm. Looking pretty darn good. And it matches my house. So isn't that cute? Alrighty, we'll see if the girls like it. babies. They're cool. How do we like it? Is it confusing? <laughs> Did some more work on the coop here and it's really coming together. I uh, luckily got a lot of free reclaimed wood from a friend of mine. He tore out a deck and had a bunch of wood to give away. So I was able to reuse a lot of that wood. Obviously the two by fours and the four by fours are new. Um, 
but the majority of this build was with free wood and reclaimed stuff, which I was very happy about. And then uh, I wanted to have one window here that has easy access to the chicken coop and also one that can open uh, to get some cross ventilation going through the greenhouse once it's done. And then not to mention, I'm going to also have my compost pile right here. So this will help for easy access between the chicken coop and the greenhouse. I got these panels, which were very expensive, but you know, it's an investment, so it was worth it. Um, and I attached it using these roofing screws that have like the little plastic squish uh, thing on the bottom there to, uh, you know, compress it in and keep it watertight. And then for the ones between the two panels, I just did these little washers with a screw. Um, and it's working pretty good. It's like, you know, pretty darn sturdy. I'm not expecting it to come off in the wind or anything like that. The chicken wire or hardware cloth that I got is going to go over the front and attach to the side somehow. Um, and then have access to the coop from the front so you don't actually have to go into the chicken run to get the eggs. Um, I upgraded the security on this door because I'm just scared of it being opened by predators because it's the only thing that's not protected by the hardware cloth. 4x4 four four is attached to these concrete uh, foundation posts that are already there. I was going to tear this fence out, but I figured why waste the effort when I can use the anchored concrete beams here. So those are on all the sides where the supports are. That white beam over there is also connected to a concrete anchor. Um, and then as far as the door goes, again, more reclaimed wood. This piece came from an old garden bed that I had. This is from the deck, and then this is new. So a combination of things. Um, so I got these um, bolt locks here, two, uh, one on the top, one on the bottom, just for security, and that opens up and in. So I should be able to get my wheelbarrow through here. Um, which will be nice for moving compost around. And then, yeah, I have full access to the coop right from here. Um, I'll move the girls out there hopefully today by the time I finish the, um, the hardware cloth, which is going to go all the way up and around the top and over and just keep this whole space protected. Uh, I built a little ramp for them. Now it's just a matter of getting all the hardware cloth up. That's going to be the big, the big job, which is going to be today. And then once that's done, it should be time for the gals to make their move. Girls had their first night outside. Hey ladies. How was slumber party camp? Oh, they're all hiding. Here's a final update on the chicken coop. It's been a couple months now and the girls are getting big. Yeah, I got all the hardware cloth on. This was a pain to get attached and all stapled together. I think I went a little hard and kind of turned it into a little chicken Fort Knox, but uh, you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we'll see how this holds up. They haven't started laying eggs yet, unfortunately, probably within a couple weeks here, I would imagine, but I have some little fake eggs in there so they know that's where the eggs should go. I've heard that works, we'll see. One of the other things that was really tricky was this corner. Um, sure enough, finding a way to get the hardware cloth to attach here and all the way around just so that the front sticks out was really tricky. This side was a little easier. You can see I kind of like jerry-rigged some little corner pieces and things like that, attached everything together with little bits of wire and things. So that worked on this side. On this side, I figured it was just easier to put a piece of wood here, um, which I have screwed in from the top, screwed in from the side and screwed in at the bottom here. Uh, so that's pretty sturdy. And then I just connected a piece of hardware cloth here. And so far that hasn't been an issue, right? They've been digging up my compost for me, which is great, mixing it all up and keeping it uh, aerated. Um, so they get a lot of food and bugs from that. They also have their little hanging feeder here and their waterer here, which I switch out maybe about once a week. I also have a little kind of pool for them. It's been hot recently, so I've been filling this with ice water and they seem to like that. Um, they have a little covered area here. When it rains, this area stays dry, so they like to hang it under there. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I really only swapped out the bedding about once here. They love their roosts. They get up there all the time now on their own and that's kind of their little spot.
And here's the problem. It's too high. Overall, yeah, it's uh, it's been a great project. Chickens are so easy. They just literally like hang out and eat bugs and sit in the dirt. Like they're really very, very low maintenance. So hopefully this has inspired some people to maybe consider getting some chickens for them themselves. And uh, hopefully once they start laying eggs here pretty soon, I will have a ton of eggs, which will be great to not have to buy any eggs anymore. But yeah, it's been really fun. Um, thanks y'all for watching and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll post more updates here as I get working on this greenhouse during the winter. So, yeah, more to come.